Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, beautiful creatures right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. So today we have another comparison of not one. Well, you can't really compare one, but not two. That was anti-dramatic. Not two, <laughs> but three boxes. So we have the witch's roots, the witch's moon, and the witch's bounty. All three tiers from the witch's moon website, all from the same company, and they're all a little bit different. So I'm here to do another comparison. I've done another one previous month. This is for the month of March, and I am super excited to see what kind of goodies we have. This box is heavy, like very heavy. Probably shouldn't have done that. So <laughs> uh, let me talk a little bit more about these subscriptions. These are witchy pagan spiritual based subscriptions every month. They come like closer towards the beginning of the month but sometimes like towards the middle of the month so anywhere between like the 7th and the 15th that sounds about right um and they are different tiers and different price points so we have the witch's roots which is 29 us dollars for united states then we have the witch's moon which is 54 dollars for united states again and then we have the witch's bounty which is 78 dollars and all filled with wonderful goodies. Now, they're not just different tiers with different amount of items, they also kind of have different themes. The Witch's Roots is usually based around a specific herb for the month. There's artwork, there's herb, that type of thing. Uh, Witch's Moon is kind of more, I've experienced more for like altered decoration and practice. And then we have the Witch's Bounty, which is kind of encircling around jewelry or a sacred piece of jewelry which all have been phenomenal and all of these have been amazing and I love getting these boxes and they're so much fun to unbox and well let's get right into it so I'm going to start off with witch's roots it does not have a very strong smell this time around unlike last month which was just intense oh should probably do my my little dramatic opening thing so bum, bum, bum. although it's not very dramatic since it's brown and then you get kind of a different shade of brown so uh, a little bit of opening here oh now I'm getting something it smells sweet earthy and sweet we have their little pamphlet filled with information and all the goodies Ooh, and then we have the book of shadows Ooh, herb of the month is basil I take it right out of the plastic sleeve, that way the lighting doesn't interfere with me showing you it. So this artwork we have, Tree of Life, there's no information on it, just a very very pretty artwork. And then we have the basil artwork, and it has all of its correspondences, which element, um, moon phases with it, I believe, magical properties and that sort of thing, which I, I just adore getting all of it. Then we have, ooh, something that's wrapped up. I save that for later. Now, because it is an herb-based box, you get a good chunk of the herb here from their cabinet of witchery. Uh, let me give you an, a little bit of an up close, which is probably why I was thinking that it smells kind of sweet because basil does have a little bit of a sweetness to it. I'm going to give it a full on sniff. It's not like it's any different. I have tons of basil plants growing in my kitchen. Mmm. Smells like a good basil. <laughs> Alright. So what else is common in these boxes is we get an oil. Just here it is. Then we get instant sticks and then we get candle. And then we get some other good. So... This is the oil, I'm glad nothing spilled. It is called Spring Blessings Magical Anointing Oil. <laughs> so I didn't do anything with the top and I'm really glad nothing spilled. 
but do you see the top how it's not really properly screwed on that could have been a disaster mmm smells very very green slightly minty I would assume there would be like some sort of basilly smell to it but not really it smells very fresh mmm it smells really really good it smells like spring but that's what it is it smells like spring all right I'm gonna give you another up close of it um, sometimes they have little herbs or crystals swimming around this one appears Yep, this one also has them. Wow. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's some herbsy guys swimming around in there. Okay, we have that. Then we have their incense sticks, also called spring blessings. Now they never really disclose what's inside their incense sticks in the in the little information pamphlet, so I like to guess, but th 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 I'm not always able to you know, figure out what it is. Okay, this smells like a lemon basil. Mmm, almost exactly like a lemon basil. So there's different types of basils out there. I don't know all of them. I know that there's a sweet basil, which is most likely what this one is, and there's also a lemon basil, which I also have growing in my kitchen. And it kind of smells like, if you've ever used the lemon pepper spice, for cooking it kind of smells like that there's like a little bit of that savoriness of that basil the sweetness and the the citrusiness which smells amazing and it kind of reminds me of these incense sticks hmm this one smells really good I'm really excited to light it up and then we have another goodie in here oh the candle color is so pretty I already saw it <laughs> something very very wrapped up nicely. Ooh. <gasps> oh, how pretty. We get the forest god. Or a forest god representation. I like how it's kind of in a butterfly. So, so nice. Oh, I love the details on this. This is gorgeous. He looks so happy too. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful little altarpiece. Thrilled. Just thrilled. Then we have a candle. And this is the last item in this box. And it is this beautiful spring green candle. Now, their candles are beeswax and hand rolled. And oh, they burn so, so nicely. Definitely more more of my favorite to use is now like a beeswax candle. And it has a very slight hint of honey. It's just oh, delightful to burn. So here is this very, very pretty bright spring green. Almost like neon. Hold on. Let me see if this will show it a little better. Very pretty green color. Now the cool thing about these candles is that they unroll. You can unroll them here and instead of anointing a candle this way you can anoint it ha, 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 within or what I even do is put a little parchment paper with an intention so as it burns it ends up burning with the paper as well and you can put little um you could put herbs inside here or essential oils and it makes a lot less of a mess than if you were to anoint like a general taper candle so Awesome stuff. All right, um, I'm going to tuck things in to this box. There's really not much to read about it, I don't think, because we have, you know, herb, essential oil. I will do a slight glimpse through it all, just in case they say anything in particular, because they have a ton of information about all the goodies, correspondences, and information as well. A little bit about the basil. It provides a vast number of practical uses for the modern witch. We have chosen basil to be placed within this collection for its ability to deter unwanted spirits and negative energies, while at the same time attracting love and luck into your life. As we focus on renewal and rebirth during the sacred season, allow the qualities of basil to accompany you while you dress candles, create sachets, or simply sprinkle upon your altar. 
altar. It is during this time that we intentionally work towards a renewed path. This can include adjusting our perception and altering our judgments, making new career choices, or deciding to make better decisions regarding our mental and physical health. Cool. Then we have the Basil Herbal Grimoire artwork, the Spring Green Man Black. Allow this green man to remind you of beautiful lessons. Remember that it is relevant to let go of things that no longer serve you and continue to grow through ritual, research, implementation, and a never-ending search for understanding. Take time during the season to plant flowers and herbs tending to the earth and connect to her deep and primal intuition. Awesome. So sometimes it's depicted as a green man, sometimes it's depicted as a words. Sometimes he's depicted as a forest god or a general spirit of earth. Different explanation, different varieties, but a beautiful plaque nonetheless. Then we have the Spring Blessings Ritual Incense Sticks. Of course, they don't put in what it's in them. And they have Growth and Renewal Mini Spell Candle. Then the Spring Blessings Magical Anointing Oil with Basil, White Tea, Bergamot Oils, and there's basil leaves swimming around inside. And we have the Pagan Tree of Life Book of Shadows artwork. Wonderful. You want to say hi? Hop up. Come here. Hop up. I see. Come here. Hop up. Up. Hop up. Halfway up. <laughs> this is Issy. She likes to demand attention as soon as the camera is on. On to the next box gonna do the witch's moon. I'm doing it in order from like least expensive to most of them. This one is <laughs> heavy. I'm very excited to check out what the goodies are inside here. This one tends to be packed with things. All right, bum bum bum. Ta-da! So again, they have plenty of wonderful artwork in here as well. We get an oracle card, and my oracle card is Prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. I hope this means my Etsy store is going to be doing better. I don't know. <laughs> then it has their information pamphlet here with all the goodies inside, as well as extra parchment in for intentions and other things. Then we have a sigil. Ooh, I attract prosperity and abundance. A very, very pretty sigil. Very nice. Ooh, this is pretty. It is artwork on the unicorn. Oh, I love the artwork in these boxes. There's just something so like vintagey and witchy and just aesthetically wonderful. We have a big box in there. Okay. So vintagey and like witchy aesthetic-y, it's just fantastic. Unicorn artwork. Oh, so pretty. Thinking you might have something unicorn based here. Then we have herb packets. We have bay leaf. Oh, it doesn't say what this one is. I'm sure, the paper will say it. And then we have sweet wood. I would like to give a sniff to all of these because I'm weird like that. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm, it's very similar to cedar, like a fresh broken cedar branch, but sweeter. Wow. Mmm, this would make a really good incense mix. Hmm. So, here is this. Back. Not entirely sure what this is. Let's give it a sniff. I think this is orange. Maybe orange. I'm sure it's written in their little information pamphlet. They might have just forgotten to add a sticker to this one. No big deal. And then we have a bay leaf. Bay leaf is amazing to work with. 
especially for setting intention. You can write your intention on the bay leaf and burn it because bay leaf has very good invoking properties. Love working with bay leaves. And they smell kind of good. Well, they kind of remind me of like a soup my mom used to make, so they always make me a little bit hungry. <laughs> Um, then we have a ritual bath salt called Golden Aura. Alright, let's give this one a sniff too. Ooh. We have some calendula, calendula, calendula flower bottles in here. Mmm. I'm not entirely sure what that super sweet smell is. Maybe bergamot? So here is that. Then there's more. We have an oil as well. The Golden Unicorn Magical Anointing Oil. This one leaked a little bit more than the other one did. That's okay. It's not as bad. I, I did get one that had like literally a puddle in the in the bag, which wasn't that great. But this isn't too bad. A lot of orange and clove smell like intensely. And then something else underneath. Orange and clove. I wouldn't exactly put this as like a spring smell. This is more of like a fall smell, especially because of the clove. Hmm, it smells really good, but not kind of something I expected once I, you know, kind of sweet, kind of sweet, and then it's just like clove. I don't know. Um, ooh, we have a little crystal. What do we have for a crystal at this time? Mm. It's very clear with a tiny bit of yellow. So I'm not super sure what to guess in this one. Where's my handy dandy black paper? Oh gosh, figure out which hand would be the easiest way to do this. So here's the little crystal. I'm not getting it. <laughs> that just like flew way over there and I'm not gonna deal with it with my camera stand being right there and I don't want anything to tip over. But. We'll read about the crystal there. I'm not even sure what to guess at it. Ugh. All these little squigglies are stuck. Oh, no, nope, not you. Okay. We have another set of incense sticks called Golden Light. Things are very golden in this box, huh? I mean, I guess it's for prosperity, so gold is a good color for it. Hmm. Getting a little bit of jasmine and something more perfumey underneath. I know jasmine is already perfumey, but something like else hinted underneath it. I'm not entirely sure what the smells are, but it smells pretty good. It's less of an earthy smell, more like a floral perfume. So here's that. Then we have a nice tall golden candle. Ooh, she big. Again, same deal with this candle for this box as it is for the previous box. Nice and tall. Um, again, you can roll some herbs and goodies into here. Oh, it smells like honey. Mmm. They're, they're just so nice. I mean, I don't necessarily think I need to hold this one up because it's just like a honeycomb shape and the candle just different color of that. What I'm excited is for what's in this big box. In this, ooh, ow, come on, heavy box. Is that it? That is the last thing. I peek first. <gasps> ooh, we have a unicorn. Ooh, we have a heavy unicorn. Alright, this is metal. I this this is like at least a pound. Oh, she's pretty. Look at how pretty she is. Such a cute statue. I love it. 
She makes such a nice little paperweight or decoration in my office. My office is very dark wood and gold tones, so she, oh, you don't even see her on camera. <laughs> she's chilling over here. So she's also like a dark color with gold tones, like fresh gold. She's so pretty. With a pointy little unicorn. I'm glad all the ears are, you know, in place, all the little hooves. She's not intricately, superly detailed, but there's enough detail for it to be quite nice. I'm very excited for it. And li listen, listen. Like, it's a chunk of metal. That's awesome. Not to mention, I now have, oh. Maybe I'll put that back. I was gonna say that I now have a very pretty box, but th this is very glued in there, so now I have a very pretty padded box in a unicorn shape. <laughs> I'll see if I can maybe do something with it. I don't know. We'll have to figure that. I should move this out of the way. All right, I'm gonna put this in one spot and then put all you guys in. Oh, she's so pretty. All in there, all in there. I'm gonna do this <laughs> and move it out of the way so I have room for the other one. Okay, let's read about the goodies in the Witch's Moon box and see what kind of mystery herb we got. Oh, it's called the Golden Unicorn. Again, an essay of paper. I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm just gonna woo, throw it at you. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna read bits and pieces of it. It is a brass golden unicorn. Very cool. The golden unicorn has been used within our personal practices for many years and has held a sacred place on altars of prosperity and abundance. The qualities that are held within this great and magical symbol resonate with the path that we work to create in our lives. A path that is unique and full of beauty, surprise, knowledge, and wisdom. A path that is walked upon by seekers of truth and understanding. We are believers in those things that cannot be physically seen but can be spiritually and energetically connected with. Yes. We have the Unicorn Book of Shadows artwork, Prosperity and Abundance Sigil. We have the Hand Rolled Golden Path Spell Candle. Then we have the Golden Unicorn Magical Anointing Oil with Sweet Orange and Clove oils, as well as Marigold and Cinnamon inside. Nice. We have the Golden Aura Sacred Salt with Rosemary, Marigold, Oh, it's marigold, not calendula. The, the petals are very similar. It's enchanted with sacred salt, lemongrass, and rosemary. Very cool. We have the golden light incense sticks. Again, not really disclosed what they are. Um, tumbled citrine stone. The thing that went over there. I don't think it's a real citrine stone because of it going from clear to yellowish. It is a heat treated amethyst in my opinion but I could be wrong. So the crystal is similar to citrine properties, but not a pure citrine. So the stone, eh. Then we have the sweet wood or cinnamon. Cinnamon can always be found within our apothecary. No, oh, I don't think that's cinnamon. That didn't exactly smell like cinnamon. Orange peel, I was right. Bay leaf personalized oracle reading and parchment paper. So there's an extra parchment paper in the back for any magical workings. All right, so that is that box. I'm gonna tuck it away there. Then we have the Witch's Bounty. So let's see what kind of goodies we have inside this one. Bum, bum, bum. Again, brown to brown. And now a little bit of a bum bum bum. <laughs> so we have their information pamphlet. Of, ooh. Oh, so pretty. I love this blue. Quartz of Lemuria. So this is 
sorry, I got you. I was all oohs and ahs into this. <laughs> this is a Book of Shadows artwork for the crystal that it's themed around. So, oh, so pretty. The artwork makes this page almost seem like it's iridescent when in reality it's not. It's just so good. All right, then we have candle, little six inch candle, which matches the color. Again, another wonderful hand rolled, superly packed. Come on. <laughs> candle, kind of matches the coloring. It's off screen. After we have another essential oil, not an essential oil, an oil mix. Really need to figure out what to do with all these oils. I've been using some on and off in this and that, but between three boxes, there's 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 quite a lot. Ooh, this one is called Expansion, and we have tons of little herbs and goodies, and that's the side. So here's the back of it so that you can see all the little herbs and then the front. I would prefer them to be in the darker bottles because they are less likely to be damaged by the sun and the light. But, you know, I, I tend to keep them in a dark box in a closet anyway, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm, it's like sweet and slightly florally but not perfumey and there's like slight earthiness to it oh my gosh i can't put my finger on what it is oh this smells so good. like i can like drink it, it smells like it'll taste sweet <laughs> don't drink your oils <laughs> all right so here is that and we have again incense sticks as well I don't think there's really a point of doing a close-up for instant sticks. It's just a stick with some stuff on it. These have no smell. Eat. Don't fall. Very, very faint smell of licorice almost. Very, very faint smell. I actually like it a lot, how faint the smell is. Hmm, it smells clean and a little bit like licorice. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. And we have a itty bitty teeny tiny little crystal. I don't know what this one is, but it's itty bitty teeny tiny and cute. Um, where's my little black paper? A very pretty color oh at least it didn't fall <laughs> I don't know what's with me and throwing things today very cute and tiny huh. I'd like to read about what it is um quartz of Lemuria mayhaps mayhaps it's an aquamarine Mayhaps, I don't know. I can't even really guess at it. Then we have, okay, we have a necklace. <laughs> I wonder if they watch my videos. Um, because the past couple of boxes when I received a necklace, they gave this like weird stretchy thing that I just kind of ended up yeeting out of frame because I felt it's such an insult to the jewelry pieces inside. So now we have a cord necklace, which is definitely, definitely um, much better than a little stretchy thing. So we have a little cord necklace. Again, it's not the greatest, but it's a lot better than a little plastic stretchy rubber band. And last but not least, we have the jewelry piece that comes with it. Again, always in such a very pretty, squishy, posh box. Ooh. Oh my. 
Oh, I'm not entirely sure if this is a necklace or a pendulum. Could be used for both. What is it called? Sterling silver pendant, quartz crystal with turquoise. Oh, I'm sure that's turquoise. Oh, it has a little compartment. I love jewelry that have little secret hidden things. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure if this would be a necklace pendant. I'm almost certain you can wear it as a necklace pendant, but I would feel like it would make such a beautiful pendulum. I suppose it could be used for either or. Uh, let's, let's do the black paper. I suppose it can be used for either or. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the detailed work on it. I'm gonna open up the little compartment and show that. Stunning. The little tag is in the way. It does have a bit of a chip. But, you know, with it being a natural quartz crystal, it's not that big of a deal. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I'm like mesmerized by it. The quartz is nice and clear. Oh, so very pretty. I love the way it hangs. It has like a little swing. Oh, so pretty. All right, so where is the little info pamphlet? Let's read about it. If it is a turquoise, that explains why the size is so small because it, 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 it's a bit more of an expensive crystal to gather. It is Lemurian quartz with turquoise vessel pendant. That's what this gorgeous thing is. Inspired by the design of the poison rings that were once worn during the Middle Ages to conceal a variety of items, this unique pendant provides you with the option to truly program your intentions within its capsule. Below the capsule you'll find a Lemurian quartz said to directly connect with the fabled ancient civilization of Lemuria. As the story is told, thousands of years ago Lemuria was swallowed up by the Pacific Ocean, leaving but a small trace of wonderfully cosmic and angelic energy. Known for their ability to connect to emotional and spiritual dimensions, the Lemurian people were directly in touch with the divine and held a deeper and more vibrant understanding of the world around them. And it talks about other things and then says turquoise has been said to be the oldest and longest used gemstone in the world dating back to 5000 bc found within iraq this wonderful stone is also found to be sacred among the ancient egyptians navajos and zuni tribes it talks a little bit about the stone cool expansion magical anointing oil with chamomile lavender vanilla lemon balm Oh, that could be why it's such a very florally sweet smell, but mixed all together. I haven't smelled all of them together. Hmm. Then we have Lemuria Ritual Incense Sticks, Cosmic Guide Spell Candle, Tumbled Turquoise. Ah, so it is a turquoise. Very nice. Quartz of Lemuria Book of Shadows artwork. And this box was curated with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. All right, so here are these three amazing, wonderful, magical goodies tucked away in little boxes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which item you thought was the most interesting out of all three of these. I mean, we kind of have three like main big items. We have this stunning pendant. We have the little unicorn and we have the little green man. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways. Lots of wonderful goodies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!